what's up guys today i'm going to talk about why you should delete instagram and why it's the number one reason why you relapse all instagram is is a distraction and it's made to waste your time unless you have a business you should delete the app honestly explain to me why you need to spend hours and hours on Instagram scrolling and watching photos and videos of other people that you don't even know what does that do for your life you might say oh it inspires me and to become a better person no it don't but what's inspiring it just maybe makes you feel good for like sec two seconds but it doesn't do shit for your life and how much inspiration and motivation do you need to have your motivation and inspiration should come from within not from without people don't even post their real life on instagram and it's made to make you feel bad and feel like you're not enough all you see on instagram is perfect people living their perfect lives and smiling to the camera but in real life they feel like shit because they're doing this for other people and not for themselves you don't consume instagram instagram consumes you it makes you feel rewarded for nothing like it makes you feel rewarded just because you click on a picture that's why for your it rewires your brain so like the hard stuff you need to do every day in your life it makes it, it i won't say it makes it harder but your brain will instead just chase the easier quick dopamine hits instead of the delay instead of the real shit you have to do to improve your life and it makes you feel a false sense of reward it makes you feel rewarded while you didn't even earn nothing you don't need instagram if you, like i said before if you don't have a business there's no reason why you should have instagram honestly like you could say oh i use it to talk to my friends and shit like mm, okay but if you just want to talk to your friends they could text you or call you on your phone you don't need like an app and honestly you don't i know you're not just talking to your friends and shit the, i know the reason why you have instagram is just to talk to girls there's only two reasons why guys i have instagram it's either to flex to have girls or to look at girls on instagram going on instagram and looking at girls is like the modern version of buying a playboy magazine because i know that bro don't lie to me don't don't lie to me by saying that looking at hot girls for like five minutes doesn't make you want to jerk off don't lie to me bro because i know i used to do it because that's the trap that's the trap you go on instagram you scroll okay you look at your favorite rap you look at your favorite rapper's feeds flexing their money their chains you look at funny videos and when there's nothing and when, and when there's nothing left to look you go to an explorer page and the first thing you will see is a fine ass bitch there's there will always be a girl why because you're always looking at girls so the algorithm picks it up and they say oh this guy likes to look at girls so let me give you a girl like the, instagram knows what they're doing bro so you see the girl say oh she looks fine you click on the picture it's, oh she got a fat ass let me go on the profile girl profile you, you like it you can look at a lot of the picture then the tired of her i said ah okay i look at other cool pictures so let me find another girl you find another girl you find another girl and you find another girl it never ends bro there's literally millions of girls that looks good in instagram so it will never end you will always find a new fine ass girl you look at a lot of girls and next thing you know your dick is in your fucking hand now it's kind of annoying because your dick is hard so you put it out because there's nobody there right you're alone in your room so you put it out and now you're, you're kind of tired it's, ah let me watch some porn and you're gonna pour sight and you do what you do if you really want 
to be successful on your nofap journey and semen retention journey you have to delete instagram and most of the instagram thoughts are fucking fake their ass is not even real like do you realize that like you know what they do they do liposuction what they do is they take their fat on their belly and they put it in their ass isn't it fucking disgusting when you think about it like Ugh. I don't want to <laughs> bro I, I don't know for you but I think it's disgusting honestly for me it's like a catfish like you know when you see a fine ass girl online oh she looks good but when you see her in real life she looks she doesn't look as good she looks ugly like for me that's the same thing like okay if you didn't do the liposuction you will have that ass and you will be fat as fuck but because you did the surgery now you look good and her face doesn't look good too she puts a lot of shit on her makeup and she do she do photoshop what you're doing so what you're doing basically is you're jerking you're jerking off to the idea of her looking good like what you don't even know is you're spilling your seed for fucking nothing bro like the power of your seed is so much powerful and you can really put that build up energy in your work in your business in the gym like you can you can just use it for you can use it to be a better person but you use it to jerk off and have three seconds of orgasm i i just found out this scary thing not long ago do you know that instagram knows what kind of girl you like think about it don't you find it weird that instagram always knows what kind of girls you like it's because the algorithm picks it up like i was searching for girls to put in my thumbnails and the more i click on girls the more similar looking girls would appear so i really thought that she was real bro so if you like skinny white girls, all you will see is skinny white girls. If you like BBW black girls, all you will see is BBW black girls. That shit is fucked up, bro. Even in porn, when you go to a porn site, you have to click what you want to see. Instagram is so fucking like the algorithm is so smart that it that it knows what you like. And don't tell me that the shit I'm saying is not true because Instagram is literally a billion dollar company. Don't you think that a billion dollar company could put it in the algorithm? It's a billion dollar company and it's one of the most successful, if not the most successful social media platforms. So of course the algorithm is like triple A. So let's say you say to yourself, I will still go on Instagram, but, but I will not look at girls anymore. Do you know how hard it is to change your suggestion feed? It's fucking hard, bro. It takes like weeks, even months. Even if you're successful on changing your feed, Instagram will still suggest you a girl just because that's the nature of Instagram. So like, you will always lose against the algorithm. So that's why I said, just delete the app. Another thing that Instagram does is it makes you awkward. Do you know why when you look at a girl, you want to talk to her you feel all nervous and shit it's because when you go on instagram what do you do you see a good looking girl and the only thing you do is you look at her that's the only thing so you tr you you train your brain to oh when i see a good looking girl the only thing i do is to look at her so when you see a good looking girl in real life the only thing you do is this oh my gosh you look good Oh fuck, she got a fat ass. Oh my god. That's why you gotta approach anxiety because your brain is more accustomed to just looking at the girl than talking to a girl. You shouldn't sexualize women that that way because women are human beings. They're not like sex puppets that oh the only thing they can do for you is like make you buzz. Like they're fucking human beings with souls, bro. But yeah, I know that yeah, I said human being with souls, but a lot of them girls don't have, have, don't even have souls, bro. They like fucking succubus and shit. I always tell you something. Everything in the universe is energy. So when you look at a girl, you give her your attention, which is 
energy. And you have in in a day you have limited amounts of, of attention. That's why they say attention is the new currency because when you're giving attention to somebody, you don't just give them, you pay attention to them. Let, so let's put it like this. Let's say you have 100 attention. And every time you look at a girl, you give her like one attention point. So if you look at hundreds of pictures of girls, you, you basically give them all your attention. So like your focus, you will not be focused throughout the day. So when you're working, you try to do shit, you will not be focused because the only thing you will think about is oh this girl was so fine as fuck oh if it like you will think about having sex with her even if you don't yo the fucked up thing is you will think about having sex with a girl that you never saw in your fucking life and you don't even know i didn't say thinking about sex is not good but you will always think it bro i want semen retention it's been like 10 months i didn't jerk off i didn't bust so don't you think that i never think of sex Yes, I think of of sex. Like, I think every day I think about having sex with someone, but I don't let the thought distract me. You know, that's why I tell you guys to do to meditate because it will train your focus. The two things you need to do to stop relapsing is delete Instagram and or if you have a business and you try to make money on Instagram, what you can do is you put a time limit on your phone. And second thing you want to do is stop touching your dick. Like literally, the, the only reason why you should touch your dick is to take a piss or when, you, when, you're, when you're in the shower. So yeah, if you feel like, oh, you, I'm hard, I want to jerk off, don't touch your dick, it will go away. If you just focus, if you just focus on something else, it will go away. Because I know, Back then it was my excuse, oh I'm hard so I must jerk off, but you don't need to jerk off bro, at least if you bust, bust when you have sex, but if you bust, but even then you're not obligated to bust, it might sound, it might sound random, but hear me out, you know in Dragon Ball, when Goku make the spirit bomb and, it, and he says, give me all your energy, give me your energy everybody. So, when you go on Instagram, and you know these Instagram tiles, they're always posting like sexy ass pictures. So, basically what they're doing is, they're telling you, give me your energy. And, like a, and you, like a fucking dumbass, you jerk off. Like there's hundreds of thousands of guys that jerk off of, Insta, of their profiles. So what, what it does is, you're giving her your energy. So she will have her energy so she will have a better life do you know bro do you know how much money these instagram thoughts make they make hundreds they make hundreds of thousands of dollars just by just because they're pretty bro just because of that just because they're pretty and you take pictures and like guys like dumbass oh, oh, I wanna, oh, like you're fucking jerking off you're making her rich so when you jerk off to a girl you're making her rich even if you spill your seed on your fucking socks like the way the universe works is like you're giving her your fucking energy even if you don't even live in the same country as her you're still giving her your energy so yeah instead of giving her your energy and making her make more money Keep your energy. Keep your fucking energy, bro. Your seed is fucking powerful. I'm telling you guys, just stop jerking off. Just stop ejaculating for one week and you will see the difference on your energy levels. So yeah, if you want to make more money, just stop jerking off. And what that will do is, like physically, what that will do is, you will have more time. You will find that, oh, I have a lot of free time. What can I do? When you start ejaculating and jer or jerking off, you will start to think about productive shit you can do. And if you, if you don't know, if you don't know what to do, you could just write it down. If you don't know what, what to do with your free time, just take a notebook, write productive shit to do and start to really think about it. 
and write it down. If you want to learn more about the power of writing stuff down on a notebook, I suggest you to check out my last video. A another tip I could give you is if you tend to fall into the loop of looking at girls and shit, you could just pay someone or ask someone to manage your profile so you can post shit every day and keep your business flowing, you know? It's hard, even for me, bro, it's hard to go on Instagram and not look at girls. But the trick is, don't go to your, don't go to the Explorer page and put yourself a time limit. So even if I start to look at girls, I can't do that for long because I just have, I put myself a timer of five minutes on Instagram and it's enough for me to just post the video I need to post and leave. If you have a question or just a video suggestion, you can write me at my Gmail. I put it down in the box and I will make a video response. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like, share this to one of your friends and subscribe to my channel. It really makes a difference and it means a lot to me. Peace.